I recently got my hands on a new environment asset pack, that being the Castle Valley Collection for HDRP. Now I was blown away with the quality of this pack, which is why I'm making this video. Seriously, I always thought that nothing could beat nature manufacturers environments, but well, this pack is definitely giving it a run for its money. That being said, it's great to see these AAA quality boosts on the asset store. It really shows that Unity has moved from just a cool free game engine for hobby projects to a top of the range industry engine. So to showcase these assets, I decided to make a level design. Now as you watch me create the environment, I also want to talk about the importance of good quality models. I try for the most part to show that model quality isn't everything, because well, getting high quality models are expensive, and no one wants to feel that they wasted their money. And this is true, I would still place lighting and composition above pure model quality, however, if you really want amazing graphics, you need both. So what should you look out for if you want realism? Well, I say you should keep a lookout for ground detail meshes, like these ones from the pack I'm using now. Inserting these into your scene add greater complexity to the ground surface, which is important since the player will always be able to see the ground, and will be seeing it close up. If you look at any graphics showcase videos like this one for the Unreal Engine, you can really notice the complexity in the ground. It never once looks like a standard sculpted terrain with a rock texture thrown on top. Furthermore, you want variety. Packs that offer many models or models that can easily be customised are great. If the player can notice two models that are similar and close to one another, it does look a little odd. Ways you can get around this is scaling and rotating the models if you don't have a big enough model library. Next is consistency. Many people might get tons of super realistic models from thousands of different packs, which look great individually, but when placed together, well, it doesn't flow. This is especially important for natural scenes. If you are really good at post-processing, you can make the models blend nicely with colour adjustments, or if you're good at Photoshop, you can manually alter the textures to fit your theme. But for the rest of us, we're better off investing in more packs to provide a variety of models that suit your theme, as this ensures everything will look uniform. And that's pretty much it on Strictly Models. Of course, there's the obvious that the models need to look realistic themselves, and there's also components of post-processing and performance that come into play but they're topics for another time. So that being said, I'm going to shut up for now and you can watch the rest of the scene come together.
So there's the final shot. I'm actually really happy how this one came out. Now you might have noticed at the start that I actually used a reference image, and I used it as a UI element with a low alpha value. This allowed the scene and the image to both be seen at once. This is a great technique that I recommend you using if you find a nice composition and overall structure in an image that you would like to emulate. I just thought I'd throw that in because I think some of you might find that useful. Alright, that's all, hope you enjoyed the video. I've linked the asset pack in the description below, and if you have any specific questions regarding how I constructed the scene, be sure to let me know in the comments. Alright, see you in the next one.